Hello and welcome to this Hints and Tips video. I'm Colin Evans, a Senior Applications Engineer with Solid Applications. Today we're going to look at using the status bar. The status bar can be found at the bottom of the SolidWorks window. It provides a wealth of information to you. It reminds you of what version of SolidWorks and what service pack you have installed. When you move your mouse pointer over any command, you are displayed with a brief description of what the command does. I love using the status bar to inspect geometry. Simply selecting on an edge in the graphics area will report back its length on the status bar. Or if I multi-select with my control key down, it will report back the normal distance between the faces. If I select a cylinder in the graphics area, it will report back the diameter. If I multi-select two diameters, it will report back the distance between the cylinder axis. If we go into the sketch environment, the status bar will report back the pointer coordinates. Also, we'll be shown the status of the sketch. Here we can see this sketch is underdefined. We can also see the traffic lights. This indicates that the sketch needs to be rebuilt after any dimensional changes. This is also displayed on the sketch feature in the Feature Manager design tree. Also on the status bar, we can see the unit system. Here we can see that the file is using the inches, pounds and seconds system. I can change this to millimetres, grams and seconds simply by selecting it from the list. So in future, all dimensions will be shown in millimetres. A very quick way to switch units. And lastly, hidden away in the bottom right hand corner, we have this icon, which is tags. For this, I'll switch over to an assembly to demonstrate this feature. OK, so now we're in the assembly. Let's have a quick look at filtering parts in the Feature Manager design tree. Right at the top of the Feature Manager design tree, we have a filter. If we know the name of the part or component that we want to search for, we can type in the, the name of it here. So let's look for the knobs. So if I just type in knob, you can see it filters out all the knobs. It filters the Feature Manager design tree and also the graphics area, so we can select the part. To cancel the search, we can literally just uh, cross it here and that will cancel the search. This is another cool feature that's often overlooked. So let's have a look at tags. So what I'm going to do now is select some of the components in here with the control key down, just multi-selecting. Uh, so I'm going to select these four knobs and also the wheels with my control key down. Down at the bottom here on my um, status bar, I'm going to say show or hide tags. And I'm going to type in here uh, a tag of plastic parts. So let's just select in there and just type in plastic in here. So that's going to, it's also got the manufacturer's name on here, Anderson's as well. So now once I OK that and I come back to my search up here, and just type in plastic, it'll filter out anything with a tag that's plastic. So all these six items are plastic parts. So that's a good use of tags that's found right at the bottom on the status bar. So we'll just exit that to bring back the full assembly. And back to my isometric view. I hope you found this uh, helpful. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.